So Macron wouldn't touch Putin with a 10 foot table. <laughs> so or maybe even it was 20 feet, but that's what the video is going to be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, come on, you can do it. Just subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, that whole uh, thing with Putin on one end and, and Macron on the other, and um, and it, apparently it was that Macron was not wanting to get close to him or even let his DNA uh, within uh, touching distance of Putin. That is an interesting way for people to think about you. Okay, so this is the Visconti Tarot, and this is a um, Los Caravillo uh, deck here. These are gilded, and they're very cool to um, to use. I just don't know that they show up as well on the camera as they look in person. Um, I don't think they do. The uh, instruction booklet that comes with them is, you know, run of the mill. It's in a couple different languages, I think. And um, so it's fine. Now the cards are, you know, regular shape. And, and the cool thing about them is the gilding uh, that's on them. So that's what's so very nice. I mean, in person, they're really amazing, amazing. And I don't think they show up this well on the camera. Um, but, um, but they're still fun to use. And there's some people that this really gilded look of card really is the right, or some situations where this is the right thing to use. So I spread these out so that you can get a look at them and see what kind of different cards are. I've got quite a few decks and... Um, what I do actually is I use credit cards that give me uh, uh, cash benefits and then that's what I use to buy these cards with. So there you go. So if you think you'd like these Visconti Tarot, then you should give them a try. Okay, so this will be, uh, the subject of this reading is uh, Macron, French President Macron's uh, 10 foot pole for Vladimir Putin. And uh, it's interesting that these cards happen to be laid out with uh, the, the card right on top here is strength. Uh, so that's interesting. This uh, fellow is beating the strength out of this lion, Macron, Putin. Interesting. So we want to know, I think with six cards, uh, maybe full Celtic cross, but we'll see. Uh, Macron's, you know, they say that one of the issues he had was that he didn't even want to leave his DNA anywhere that uh, Putin could get a hold of it. That's very interesting. I mean, that is a savvy leader. So, so much different than the, the, the fool that Trump was in, in going into a, a, a private room with that guy. So, Macron, 10-foot pole regarding Putin. What do the cards tell us? But first... Let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay. So Macron's 10 foot pole with Vladimir Putin. What can the cards tell us about that? Well, let's do a three card pull right at the beginning just to see, was that the correct way for him to deal with Putin? Just three cards for that right away. One two, three. Was that the right way for Macron to deal with Putin? That large table. The signifier forgot, ace of value. Oh yeah, he had to hold on to all of his value, every bit of it, in the, in the best way that he could. So this ace of his sleeve is the first card out of the pack. This is Macron. The second card for this is this uh, Hierophant. 
this hierophant. So the hierophant is uh, rules. It can be government, but this is the rules by which you get a thing done. The hierophant is a structure that a thing is, is governed by. And yeah, this was Macron's, uh, the basis of his meeting with Putin. And Putin was is so glad to, to be recognized by other legitimate world leaders that, yeah, he, he agreed to it. And then the final outcome in this is this Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is an abuse of power. And it's interesting that this is and Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, an abuse of those things. So it's interesting. This is the last card. This is Putin. He's the weakest link in all of that. So uh, was this the right decision? Macron was going to hold on to his value, his great, big, enormous amount of value, no matter what. He laid down the rules for how this thing would be done and would not submit to uh, any abuse of truth, justice, rules of law, abuse of power from Putin. Now, uh, let's see what six cards can tell us about this um, uh, Macron and Putin uh, and that 10-foot pole uh, type of... Uh, um, Dialogue, diplomacy, six cards. Interesting how these cards are coming out crooked like that. One, two, okay, I'll take it. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, what can the cards tell us about Macron and Putin and that uh, long distance uh, diplomacy? The signifier card for that is this Four of um, Wands. And the Four of Wands are short-term celebrations. Wands are actions, uh, mo movement forward, plans. And so, yeah, this was certainly a celebration for um, Macron and uh, just a smallish celebration. That's the signifier. The uh, challenge to that, ah, looking at things from another direction, from another way. This is the hanged man. This is number uh, 10, 11, 12 of the uh, major arcana, the major secrets of the cards. And uh, so this is understanding that sometimes you have to put yourself in an uncomfortable position to see something from another way. Okay, so he was willing to uh, to do that. And, uh, and that was the challenge to accomplishing that small uh, celebration. The base of this reading then, uh, with this page of cups, cups are uh, emotion, compassion, and the page is the very weakest of the royal cards. He's just bringing an idea to the court. He's bringing a message to the court of compassion, and that's what this was. Macron was willing to meet with Putin, bringing him a small uh, cup of, I'll listen to you from way over here, okay? Not over here, way over here. Okay, the past of this reading is again the hierophant. The hierophant is uh, can be government. It's it really is the rules, the structure by which a thing is uh, practiced or, or or accomplished. So yeah, in the, ba the the they came into this with this basic set of rules structure. The um, uh, sky of this again, we get a great big ace of wands, a big plan. Again, this is Macron saying this is the plan. This is how we'll do it. He dictated the terms of how that would happen. The um, likely outcome of the first part of this dyadic cross, or this complete dyadic cross, of course, is the three of coins. And um, the three of coins is putting something together for public display, and that's exactly what they did. They put together a meeting of value, a meeting uh, out in public, which is what uh, was the value that Russia wanted, and the meeting was the value that Macron wanted. Okay, so yeah, that's what we have there. Let's go ahead and do another four cards. Okay, Macron and Putin and the 10-foot pole. The very um, self of that question, Macron versus Putin and that 10-foot pole situation. So this is uh, the star. The star is hope. And of course, that's what this whole meeting was about. The hope to put a halt to uh, whatever this aggression was. Okay. The um, environment that that's in. Okay. So this is the two of wands. And the two of wands are short-term plans. Wands are plans, actions, forward movement. And this was a short-term plan. This was one step in the direction towards the goal uh, that uh, Macron uh, had and supposedly that uh, Putin had. The hopes and the fears for that, the hopes and the fears for that are the um, uh, chariot. So things moving at a rapid pace. And so that's what the fear was, is that this thing was going to move at too rapid of a pace. And then the final outcome for the whole thing is uh, the six of pentacles distributing the value, distributing the value here and there and everywhere. And that's exactly what happened. The value of this meeting got distributed in the appropriate uh, manner. So that's uh, the reading. What did you think? Did that make sense to you? Because it seems to make sense to me. But uh, let me know what you think. Put some comments uh, down below and uh, we'll go from there.
I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.